welcome to the basement. I have a pre-release Glowforge here and we're going to walk through the whole process of starting up, booting up the Glowforge. We're going to import a design into the workspace and the user interface. We're going to print it and uh, see what all that entails. A special highlight will be to look at the Glowforge homing routine, how it uh, checks out where it is in the world and on in relationship to the material on the bed. We'll place a graphic on the material and we'll print it out. So uh, welcome. It's Marion McCarowitz and I have a pre-release Glowforge here. I'll start out at the design section of the catalog. That's what you open up to. These are designs I've put on and did various prints throughout uh, the past couple weeks. And I'm going to, let's o upload a design that Jules sent me. Uh, we've been going back and forth on figuring out how to get from Illustrator to an SVG and what's the proper way of getting those files prepared. And it's been a fun time. So here we have just a simple circle with some engravings on it. and. We'll just bring that, import that into the user interface in the workspace. And um, right now, we don't have uh, the Glowforge on, so it's showing a, a blank workspace. Uh, default is we have uh, two, an inner and an outer circle that are going to be cuts, and then there's going to be an engrave. That's what's set up in default. We'll come back to those uh, images. And let's switch to the camera over the Glowforge and turn it on. And then. OK, we're ready to start up the Glowforge, the power button in the back. And before you press the power button, make sure that you hook up your vent hose if you don't have a filter. Uh, you'll find out soon enough if you don't have it hooked up or not. The lights come on and the routine starts. What you're going to look for is right now is the slight flash in the lid camera uh, as it takes a picture of the bed and the material and starts moving the gantry to position itself for the, for the print. So there's flash and uh, then the gantry will eventually start moving and in relationship between the flash, the pictures, and the head, it'll focus on the Glowforge logo and name uh, and, and center itself. Uh, it, it, it takes a while. Uh, this particular morning it was about five minutes, I believe, on the uh, startup routine, going from a, a cold start, uh, taking picture, moving the gantry, taking picture, moving the gantry, move, eventually moving the print head, and um, uh, so you will think about that. I'm not sure if that's going to be standard as production models come out. So you can see that uh, the lid camera flashes a little light, takes a picture, goes back and forth uh, to, to find where the gantry is, and the print head is in relationship to that lid. And I'm still getting familiar with this startup homing routine. So I'm going to go back to the desktop going to refresh the screen so we got an image an image on the screen and you'll see what happens with the camera after that so refresh the bad image in fact uh, the homing routine needs to be finished before that first refreshing of the bed image is done so it takes about in this case, as I said, about five minutes for the homing routine to finish up 
and then once the printhead back is is packed is parked back in its normal spot, uh, the the bed's free to load material and and refresh the bed image to place your design. So as you can see, the the, the gantry is still dancing around, uh, looking for that head, and um, it it does eventually find it. So we'll uh, we'll 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 close off here, and then take up when it finishes up. for a few minutes while the warm-up and homing routine finished and now we have um, the printhead is in the back left waiting for their instructions so here we're back into the user interface we have the design it's um, about seven eight eight by eight and uh, notice it it uh, I can't even count one two three four five six seven about seven um, and uh, notice the status is ready ready to print we have the cut and those two lines, inner and outer, are ready to the two lines are ready to be cut on the inner and outer, and then here is the engrave. Right now we have the deepest engrave and I'm going to go and choose a medium shade of engraving for this. You notice that's the, the center circles here. And um, uh, now let's zoom out a little bit and find a place I'm going to shrink it a little bit. center I'll still be able to use so uh, looks good we're cut we're engraved we got a picture of the bed and um, I'm gonna go ahead and press the print here and you can see the screen is scanning your material in the meanwhile the print head is brought over Once the scan is done, the print head moves back out. The design is being prepared. And any second now, it will be back. Okay, so because this is an engrave, it's a uh, 17 minute engrave. So first it's going to cut and then it's going to engrave. And just so you can see the where it's going to go. the print and then we'll 
when it's doing the circles, cutting the circles, I, it's very nice. Got a little siren sound going along. I, I don't have uh, my webcam sound on, and so, uh, but I've I've posted a few other videos where you can hear the Glowforge making its sound, but the the circles is a very pleasant uh, drone, low drone uh, going around, and uh, uh, quite quite interesting. The the fan is of course in the background, spun up, and the air assist is going on, so it's a little a little. Um, It's a little, uh, a little louder in here. I having the headphones on. It's, it's okay. But if I'm standing there monitoring it, um, that might get a little old at a time. But since Glowforge is on the other side of the desk, I'm, it's not, not too bad. But uh, we'll see how later prints go. I haven't had too many long prints. They've been two, three, four minutes. So it, it hasn't been too obnoxious. Uh, the sound, or unpleasant, I guess I, I should say. So we're in the medium and grave, and it's uh, taking its time. We have another 14 minutes to go. And um, um, I will uh, join you on the back end of this. Okay, final few seconds of the print. Uh, notice uh, the print menu disappears. Just hit on print again, and your 11 seconds come up. And here's the final bit of the print. And then it go park the head parks itself to the back lower left and exhaust goes for a while and then an air assist goes for a little while and then uh, shuts down and uh, without any of the masking taken off uh, came out beautifully at least I think I'm going to keep that on I might try to engrave the other other side of that, see how that positions. Um, just uh, you can see the outer masking coming up and the inner masking coming up and then lots of little, little bit pieces of masking coming So, Jules, here's your ring, and um, I think it turned out very nice. Uh, be a good coaster. Um, picture frame could be anything. We'll see. But right now, it's just a nice engraving with some really fine circles that weren't vector cut out, but it was all engraved. And 
the edges weren't vectored so just the very outer and inner were vector cuts and the rest was engraved so thanks for watching